a hang and crown a bianang and noom. Hey, an arm a bramble. May April. Are you in print? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I get home and I see this face, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Mm, it's coming. It's on this way. Hey guys, and welcome back to Destination Africa. Today we've got something really special for you guys, and that is a generational conversation. Guys, you know we're all about parenting. Today we have somebody really, really special in the house to talk all about growing up, how they feel about passing on the generational torch and ensuring that the legacy that's been started, that great foundation, will be continued. I mean, how else are we gonna turn the learners of today to become the leaders of tomorrow? So today we have somebody great in the studio. He goes by the name Captain Hayford, and it's not just any old captain. This is an award-winning Captain Hayford. Here with his dad to talk all about African parenting, what he's learned, what he's gonna pass on, and of course, for his dad to give him some advice and tell him all about his expectations. I know you guys are ready because we are. Let's go. Eja Akwaba. Tiana. That's it. Eja, today we're here because of you. Because you've given us this wonderful son and he's here to continue your legacy. So today we've just organized this episode to find out exactly how much you know Captain Hayford. I'm a I'm saying I feel a a a Hey, and I'm a bramble. You can't help me here. Is that mommy dating? Dating. Uh huh. She's a saint. Uh huh. Uh huh. May. Uh huh. April. April uh, 12, 1995. Nineteen ninety-five. Yeah. Correct? Wrong. Wrong. It's ninety-six. Wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Just one year. Just almost. one year. Almost. Okay. It was really good. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid the one day the one day the one more. Uh-huh. Any day the kind. Ma, where is the one day? Oh, any ma, any ma. To say, or to be sad, but you fool so. May I have a friend name your favorite? Hey, and Okay. Papa, or share ten size ten. Wow, okay. On a day, not the movies, movie. I 
say me you feel. Na ba ko bi ni ni friend no Cooper. Cooper. He's nodding his head. So that one yeah, I can see the daddy on point. Cooper. So that's correct. Yeah. Back in the day. Growing up, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay. We we used to rent the CDs out and make sure I I, I bring it home and watch it. That was Rambo. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. 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 Back in the day. Hey. He got it. Only Yeah. Yeah. I born in the dia. Snake. 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 Well, I, I overcome that fear just recently, recently, but yes. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. of ice cream. Wow. 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 <laughs> yeah, onion was football. Yeah, football. Yeah, only football boy change. I don't know. I don't know. Wow, they were thinking with football. Yeah. Okay. But he was an engineer. Oh, yeah, engineer. And then Odo ne juma pa until now and no anything be there was nothing beyond that until now Odo ne juma na no ye being an engineer so that was everything he loved and he was passionate about. And there was nothing he can bring from that. Apart from that, nah, we one come from us and we pray. Odo ne de me ma no be ninety. Ninety se na kame pese Odo si engineer ne no. Company, Yes, yes. So for me to clarify that, that's why I went to China. So I was doing an engineering in order for me to honor that. So I did two years of engineering in the university in China. And then by the time I changed It's family. Family. <laughs> yeah, I mean our immediate, yeah. immediate. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. B. B. Oh, 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 actually, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. say yeah, B plus. Me and some say B plus. Yeah, I don't say B plus. <laughs> when I get home and I see this face, I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yes. uh, <laughs> They say a monkey can win. Who beat it? Kere kere kere. And the war, 
for you. Yeah. But oh, two types. Oh, two types, right? But I put the worry away. Sometimes they work. But I say it works. Second one, I'm a demonstration. Yeah. Okay. 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 Is it Wicha? Okay. Wicha, Wicha, Wicha. 1957. Mm. Wow. 1957. So it's really happening. Mm. Mm. Give a clue. Which part of Africa? North, South, East, and West? This narrow down. East Africa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Tanzania. It's not one of the most popular ones. Kenya. Okay. I'll give it to you. Djibouti. Djibouti. Oh. Oh. I know Djibouti. You know Djibouti. So I need you to kick yourself. Okay. Okay. Djibouti. Okay. Where they were maybe in Kenya. Hey, Kenya. Capital city, uh, Nairobi. Hey, why are you? <laughs> 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 why are you? Uganda. Yeah. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I am not even the queen. Queen, Zambia, Gambia, and Zambia. Zambia, Zambia. Move quiet here. With the African flag. Which one? Mihunda. Oh, 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 Morocco, Egypt, Algeria, it's an Arab country. Come on, come on, the breeze. I bet you know. You can do it, you can do it. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, South Sudan. South Sudan. Really? Hey. Nigeria, uh, Lagos, Abuja. You're so lucky you said I was supposed to pass it on. Hey, Abuja, Okay, that's it. I remember say prayers. God Almighty. And only a blessings. Amen. Discipline has been um, one of the most important things that my dad instilled in me. Uh, when I was a child, you know, he was very strict on me, you know, in a way that he wants you to you know, do something at a specific point in time. If you want to do it, he tells you, okay, do you want to do it? If you say yes, you make sure you do it. Yeah. So that was something that was very clear. Yeah. And I think, I didn't hate it, even though he was very strict. I think it was a good kind of thing that he instilled me. I appreciate it now that I'm, I'm an adult. And secondly, was his work ethic, work ethic. Uh, he's an engineer. I follow him around. Sometimes he teach me how to operate some machines. And you can clearly see that I, I hate it. <laughs> you know, at that time, you know, my effort is like, oh, I don't want to go. But then he's still consistent at it. Uh, he tells me to do it, learn it. It's going to help you. And now that I grew up, I see why he, he tried so much. And then his work ethic and how I, I, I've kind of adapted that. I grew up into seeing him go to work regardless of him. 
it's not good to be sick and go to work, but almost working all the time. You know, very disciplined, waking up to the club. You no, know, yeah, that was something that I, I really learned from him as well. And uh, being very supportive. And, you know, most, I think, African parents, sometimes when you have your own dreams, and then you tell them it's hard to accept it, you know? So, for once, he was like, okay, if that's what you want, sure. When I, example, I wanted to learn, I'm an IT guy, I realized the education here at that time, I learned I'm very good at computer, and we used to have a lot of computers back in the days, you know? So I was like, I'm so much into it. You know, and he knew that I love computers. So the time came and I told him that I want to learn more about computers. So I told him I want to travel out of the country to India, to the, one of the best, you know, countries leading in IT. And surprisingly, he's like, I agree with you. You should go. You should go to learn and then come back and then apply what you know. And I think that was the, the support. That support he gave me really meant a lot to me. And it's a, that created a ripple effect to who I am now yeah. because he just supported me on that. Even though he's so <laughs> a little so I am not an engineer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I love. I think the engineering spirit is in the blood. Yeah. You know, yeah. all his brothers are engineers. We have he has six brothers. <laughs> Every one of them is an engineer. I think they only have one doctor. So I didn't want to contribute to the engineer, but it's in the blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the blood, and I also I'm good at engineering. So I think I will evolve into that. I will evolve into that, and I think I will make it even bigger and bigger as time goes on. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. Well, I believe. Um, Nothing happens before its time, and um, I was very mindful knowing where we came as a family, and then the trials and tri tribulations we've been through. So, you know, it's more or less like I know where I'm coming from, and I know what I need to do to get to where I want to get to, and it needed a lot of attention and focus. And because of that, that would push back as pushed back me settling down because there's so much that I have to do. Very busy, very busy. So trying to make sure that I solve some of the problems we had, you know, making sure we are together, like he said. And then everything, you know, this morning days, it is good. So yeah, that's that's what I am um, yeah, focused on. So it might delay me getting married or finding the right person, but it's coming. <laughs> I know he he wants to have a grand a grandson, but it's coming. It's on its way. So I think my dad, um, I would say my mom really likes to have a grandson more than my dad because my mom will call me on the phone. It's like I, they used to call me Pa at home. It's like Pa. <laughs> 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 so my my dad no, normally don't do that, but my mom yeah. But I know he would he would be very happy to have a grandson, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I want to. It's coming. It's coming. It's on its way. Yeah.